With the unveiling of the Lexus Hoverboard project, we at KJ Magnetics figured we'd take a closer look at Lexus's beautifully packaged spin on an old trick. This type of hoverboard has three main ingredients. Superconductors, liquid nitrogen, and magnets. But what is a superconductor? Well, a very common superconductor is a ceramic made from ytterum, barium, copper, oxide, or simply known as YBCO. A material like YBCO offers no electrical resistance and expels magnetic fields. These superconducting properties are only exhibited when the material is cooled to very low temperatures. The way a superconductor expels a magnetic field is called the Meissner effect. When in a magnetic field, a material like YBCO allows a magnetic field to pass through it. But when the material is cooled with liquid nitrogen to negative 180 degrees Celsius, also known as the critical temperature, the material produces small electric currents at its surface, pushing and repelling the magnetic field to the outside. The magnetic field of these currents cancels the applied magnetic field. As long as the superconductor stays cold, the expulsion of the magnetic fields will not change and the electric currents will not decay. Therefore, conductivity can be thought of as infinite. This means constant levitation. Now this effect doesn't behave like an ordinary pair of repelling magnets. With two repelling magnets, the force varies depending on how far apart the magnets are. The closer the magnets, the greater the force. As distance increases, force decreases. But with the superconductor, this doesn't happen. Levitation at different distances is equal. But how does it stay steady? Flux pinning is a good explanation. When the magnets are aligned correctly, like in this diagram, the lines of flux flow from the North Pole to the South Pole and do not penetrate the superconductor at all. At a tiny microscopic level, there are imperfections in the superconductor. These allow a tiny amount of flux to get through and flow out the other side. These small flows of flux are enough to stabilize the superconductor, holding in any position, even with the person on top. So in conclusion, the hoverboard levitates due to the interaction between the superconductors inside of it and the magnets underneath. Levitation cannot work without magnets. Magnets are the key. We love magnets. This presentation was brought to you by Kane Magnetics, your source for the world's strongest magnets.